Oye marketers are now saying that petrol should be sold for 1,200 per liter. You don't hear, be never hear. Uh -huh. Now, 2024 be this. They are saying, they are advocating that petrol should be sold for 1,200. I just heard the news. So they say 800. But waiting, oil marketers, they talk now, 1,200. They say they collect, they come out money, oil subsidy. And uh, they save money, or save money. The first month, they say they save 400 billion. First month. 400 billion by seven months. Nobody don't account for them. Oh, 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 So, we are suffering for nothing because even the subsidy where they talk to them come up, we are not seeing any effective use of the subsidy money. We know they say, make a no talk too much, but just get ready to say very soon that 1,002 from 800 to 1,000. Now you're going to buy petrol. But make I bring one woman who I like so much, Dr. Constance Iko Kuna in your screen. He gets with you, she talk on Pop National TV. I say, make a car and call Nakana owner. Then we'll go discuss some more. I beg, listen to Dr. Uh, Constance Ikoko. Watch. Do you think, uh, Dr. Constance uh, Ikoko, that subsidy, whether the retention of it or the removal of it, has become a social, economic, and political, you know, uh, issue, especially political? It is a political issue. At the same time, it is um, economic. I mean, um, I think the reason why it became political is that mm. people question how much we really spend on that subsidy. Mm. Are we really subsidizing or is it fraud that is going on? Yeah. I think you will hear the argument that subsidy <coughs> is not bad in itself. But when uh, money is being pilfered, in the name of subsidy mm. in the name of helping the people that there's something fundamentally wrong with the government and we should address that so that's why some people have said okay reinstate it but whoever is stealing from the country in the name of subsidizing they should be caught and mm. that system should be cleaned out and then those people should go to jail that but seems again, to be where the problem is because we've heard from mr president that look the whole uh, subsidy regime has only favored a few you know cabal and you wonder you'd think that the next statement that you'll hear after the president says that is look we have you know apprehended them we know who they are they've been arrested they have been questioned they've been investigated to determine exactly to what extent they have stolen from nigeria i mean when you hear reports that in 2022 alone nigeria actually spent 10 billion dollars read my lips billion dollars well it's, on not, subsidy. It's, it's not only on subsidy it went it's, into somebody's it's, pockets it's in the country generally you heard when the national security advisor said to everyone that we have an empty treasury right. because the last government did a lot of things that they were not supposed to do so we are struggling to find some revenue to fund the government so the next question will be are they going to jail oh, oh, no, don't hear that same question why I ask now what should they ask where the money did the money when i don't save all this why where is they when i say subsidy and corruption when i don't come out the corruption eh? president even talks eh, the subsidy they benefit the rich people not the poor people so those people that have been eating the subsidy money that it was benefited has anybody brought them to book has anybody when i even tell us say some people Come pay some money, uh, say, I better they forgive them, uh, say, for the subsidy money where they chop, uh, they, they want to uh, make amen, make amen, they come pay some money. Did anybody arrest those people? I've been no bit thieved in thief. Eh? Uh -huh. So they allowed them to go. They say it was removed because it was benefiting the rich. And the rich that it was benefiting, those that were eating the money, that were, you know, uh, uh, looting us dry. Nobody don't capture them, oh. Nobody don't capture them. I make a clear owner now. This subsidy, what did they talk about? Nobody says subsidy, they bad though. Now, the corruption, where they inside the subsidy, they ain't bad. Countries are subsidizing. Make I give you an example of corruption, what I mean. The fee talks say subsidy now for petrol for this month. Now, 100 million naira. Example. Then, people, where they in charge, government and the rest of them, go say now 400 million. They don't add 300 million to them. If you ask, if you talk to me, they will say, eh, he went in for subsidy. But they don't lose, the money don't lose, they don't chop him. Subsidy is not a problem, it's a corruption. Now, President, for you to say that, you have removed for subsidy because people is corrupt, and corrupt people are taking advantage of it, and they are the rich, not the poor. Where are those rich people? Who has brought them to book? Nobody. 
Nobody now bring them to book. Uh, now, now the poor masses are now suffering because of the, the corruption of some people that are feeding fat on uh, our God given uh, mineral resource, crude oil. Nobody they talk anything. Get ready, you. I say, make I inform you. Going forward, very soon, all your marketers are saying fuel should be selling for 1200 so it is between 800 to 1200 so get ready get your money ready save up your money as a basic school fees remember that you buy fuel even if you're not buying fuel remember that commodities in the market go go high because fuel controls everything in this country now transportation that they use now motor they use transport with you they chop from farm come market so you go add to the price everything now transportation now by road trade no day even the trade stuff at some selected places they go and the trade itself, you could use diesel or one of these uh, petroleum products. So everything don't go up. Save your money. Oh. No say I no tell you. Oh, now they hear me. Welcome to 2024. I go see Ona later. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust, and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.